limit. Kind of getting back to basics. I'm out here with Miss Kendra, who won't even look at the camera. Oh, sorry. Just gotta look fancy Can't first. See. And uh, how are we doing? Got three. She's got three. We got three in the boat already. Uh, jigging. What a 32nd ounce jig head with a minnow on it. And uh, we're just cruising around using electronics. And what we've seen so far is uh, this water's really clear, and most of the fish are down around that 30 to 35 foot range. So uh, we're just working this brake line, dropping some minnows down, and whatever hits, hits. So stay tuned, see what else we catch. Fish, uh, I think it's a pike. Oh yeah, good old pike. Good old nasty pike. Oops. Tears. Look, at, look at how gnarly these things are. Watch this, watch me see him. See him? That's what I was trolling for. That might be what we're seeing down there, the big old pot of pike. Nice down there. Big old pike. Two inches. You got one? All right. You might have a pike. No, you got it. You got it. Just let me give me a little drag because it, it's yeah, I think it's a pike. Oh wait, you don't lose it. There you go. Jump babe. loose. Okay, nice and easy. Let's see what you got. Yeah, you got you a little pike. Yeah, he sees you now. Yeah, he sees you now. Good. Maybe you reeled him up enough. Good job. Guy, but that's okay. They're still fun to catch, aren't they? You caught one. You didn't have by much. Yeah, of course you can. You want a picture with him? Look at you go. What you got there? Let's see, yeah. I don't think he knows he's hooked yet. Pikers. Yep, got you another little pike. That might be a walleye. No, that's a pike. Get it, baby. It's a pike. It's heavy. 
Huh. Oh, it just came off. Looked like a pike to me. Got something. This one isn't acting like a pike. It's a bass. Large mouth. Call me a largey. Catch everything with minnows. Don't reel, let it run. What you got there, babe? Big old pike? Big old bass? Big old walleye? Don't tell him when you got minnow on. But it stays on. You got a pike. Decent one. It's a decent pike. Barely hooks. Keep your rod tip away from me because I can't get the net down. There you go. Okay, that's enough reeling. Good job, babe. Skinny guy. Good job. Sneaky. Fell out. What is that, babe? Yeah. Skinny guy. Bobber's gone. Got him. Got him. Feels like a pike. What do we got here? Yeah, it's a pike. Little guy. Oh. Shit. Look. This is my favorite part of this lake. Look. See what that is? Mm -hmm. Something took a bite out of him. The other one was like that too. Yeah. There's some big boys in here. Got one. We got one. Oh, it's a right fish, too. Yeah, it's a right fish, too. Look at that bad boy. That's what we're looking for right there. That is exactly what we're looking for. Look at this guy. Yeah, that's a crappie. It's a big one, too. That's what we've been trying. Oh, man. That's a crappie. That is a hog. Oh, yeah. So I figured it out, baby, we gotta cast to him. Look at the size of this crappie. Don't get mad about losing him. Look at that. Found him. So we gotta cast to him. So what you're gonna have to do is cast out that way, let it kind of go to the bottom, and then reel it in real slow. That's what we're looking for. This is a crappie, we got a pattern. Oh yeah, another big old fat crappie, babe. Look at this, that's what we gotta do. I'm gonna show you how to do it here. You're gonna use that rod that's right there. Get this bad boy, look at the size of this. 
Look at the size of this crappie. Damn. Yeah, these are horses. This is uh, 12, they're all 12 inches. It's just your jig gets heavy as you're reeling it in. All of a sudden, it just feels heavy, and that's when you, the, you know that's when they're on there. You just gotta set the hook. These are fatties. Look at these. These are fatties. Big old fat crappies. Studs. Just following it up and they're just mouthing it is all they're doing. It's a little heavier. A little bit heavier fish. Oh yeah, this is a stud. Stud black crappie. Look at that. Look at that, babe. Big old fat crappie. Oh yes. Now you got the feel of it though, huh? Look how beautiful they are. Look at the blue in them. Yeah. 12 and a half. Looking pretty tight, babe. You got them? Set the hook. Yeah, but you got a jerk. Like, get, there you go. That's how you got a jerk. No, you got them. Good job. Found us a little school of 12 inches. Keep your line. I got one too. Double. Oh, mine came off. Mine came off. Oh, that's a nice one, babe. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Don't lift him out of the water. Okay, or lift him out of the water. That's a hog. It's birdie. Dude, look at the size of this crop you just caught. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. There's my minnow. <laughs> yeah, we got plenty. We got plenty of minnows. Let's board this one. I bet you this one's 13. Oh, just close. 12. showed you yeah. okay good I think that's the key because we're pulling it from shallow to deep so when you let go of the bottom it's shallow where you where you're dropping it down to the bottom and as you pull it out you're pulling it right over the top of this weed patch that we're working right. and those fish are coming out of that weed patch and just nailing it <sighs> got them I saw that one nice job babe nice job Nice one. Right, you can lift that. Yeah, you can lift that one up. But look how fat it is. Yeah. Look at that. It's a fatty. Good job. And I still got my minnow. Still got your minnow. Let me put it on there a little better for you. That might come off when you cast. Here you go. I'll show you how to do it. It's called throat hook. It's where you run through the mouth, through the throat, and you just come right out the back like this. Okay. Way more sturdy. You're welcome. Got him. Got him. Yeah, he can knew it. Oh, it's a puller. Oh, he's a tank. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at the size of that. It's just a big old school of 12 inches here. Just killing him. Love it. Almost every cast now. It's almost every cast you catch one. All right, guys, we found a little pattern out here, and uh, I want to kind of show you what we're doing. Because you guys ask all the time, you know, what bait and what gear. So what we're using is this is just a 32nd ounce chartreuse head. We're skull hooking 
or throat hooking the minnows as you can see this is a dead minnow you don't even need a live minnow for this and all we're doing is we found this little drop off with some cabbage on it and we're simply casting out to the shallow letting your line out let it fall to the bottom your baits on the bottom since we're out in 27 foot of water we're casting up in about 12 foot of water and we're just slowly oh, lost it we're slowly pulling that jig head and I'm talking slow pulling that jig head oh, lost it again uh, down off the bottom and uh, we got this big old school of crappie that are uh, 12 to 13 inches so far, it's pretty much been every single cast we're hooking up, so this one definitely took my bait. So that's it. That's the method. Get you a little 32nd or uh, 16th ounce jig head chartreuse and uh, throw hook the minnow because you're going to go through a lot of minnows. Cast it shallow, drag it deep real slow. The key is let it go to the bottom first before you start reeling. A lot of guys... Got him. Still got him? Yeah, keep your line tight on those. Cause they'll, um, they're called paper mouths for a reason. Yeah. And they'll, uh, they got really thin membranes around the mouth and they'll, oh, they'll jumped go, off. the hook will come off. Yeah, that's why I say yeah. you gotta keep that line tight. That one pounded it. That one just pounded it. I mean, we've gotten one every single cast. And these are all just stud, stud crappie. Look at these. Look at that one. Look at that one. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Just studs. Them. 12 and a half, another 12 incher. You're gonna eclipse your record. See how your rod's really loose? You don't have your line tight enough. You gotta you gotta reel faster. Yeah, like that. You want to keep that little bend in the line, yeah. or else they because it's a weighted hook, they can shake it off. Oh. So, like, oh. That, like that. I almost got you. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So and then when you get them to the surface, stop reeling. And then just use your rod and what you don't want to do is ever let the line get slack because what it can do is it, it shakes on this end and that weight is like pulling the hook out. Oh, okay. See what I mean? Yeah. So you reel them, keep it tight, keep it tight. Then when you get them to the surface, you use your rod and kind of do this. Okay. Just to kind of keep them tight, right? And then when they kind of give up their fight, you just kind of flip them in. Okay. Okay? Oh. You got this. This is the best way to catch them too. I mean, bobber fishing's fun, but feeling them hit like this and setting a hook on them, yeah. that's the best. There he is. Got him. Now you see how I'm reeling, reeling, reeling? Yeah. Keeping my line tight. And then when he starts to pull, see how I slow down? Yeah. I'm kind of trying to keep the same amount of bend in my line, in my rod. I'm not letting my rod get too slack and I'm not letting it bend too much either. Okay? So now watch. I'll get him to, to the surface here, right? See, I keep my rod tip down. I don't want his face to come up out of the surface. That's when he shakes the hook. So, right? I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. See how he gives up a little? Then I just flip him in. Just like that. I got one. Job hit double. Yeah, this is a stud. We're, we're starting to get some thicker fish and that fish wasn't hooked that good either. That's another 13. That one, that one busted 13. What you got? You're doing a great job fighting that one. That's a really nice one, babe. Right, easy, easy, easy. Don't lift them up. Just give me a line. Oh, stud. Too big. Stud. Crappie. 
people travel all over all over to catch crappie this size i don't think you understand how big these fish for a crappie this fish is yeah i mean you just are killing them dude you are killing it it's just a big old school of them down there and they're just they're just devouring everything we put down there i mean this is insane I mean, <laughs> this is crazy. It's every cast, we're catching almost 13 inch crappie. It's another 12 and a half incher. All right guys, let me show you what I'm uh, looking for here when I'm out here trying to locate the spot where this crappie are at. I'm gonna turn around here and show you the side imaging. As you can see right there on the right hand side, see the large structure. That's what's holding all the crappie right there. We located that and that's what we were casting on. Maybe the school's moved down. I got him. Real, real, real. Remember, you gotta get the hook in there. Good job. I'm gonna let you get this one, okay? And wait till when it gets to the surface. Don't hold its mouth above the water. When it gets to the surface, I want you to time it and then flip it in the boat. Don't hold it over the edge of the boat. Right? Perfect. Good job, babe. That was perfect. That's how you do it. Do I get to keep him? Yeah. Yeah. Nice job. <laughs> Jesus, there's a over there. Huh? There's a bunch of them. Yeah, we're slaying them. Yeah. Sometimes when they slow down like this, a pike will come in. They kind of scare them all off. Yeah. And then they'll come back. Once the pike's gone or, or somebody catches a pike or whatever the case may be. And these are just freaking hogs. These are hogs. You got one? Good job. Keep it bent. Remember how I taught you? Keep his mouth under the water because that's how they shake the hook. Time it. Time it. And flip. Good job. See, once, it, once it's over the boat, it doesn't matter where it goes, because now it's in the boat. Yeah. Look at that. Just killing it. It's pretty. Look at that, guys. Just slaying it. There it is. I mean, they are right there. Another 12-inch slap. And he threw my minnow. Oh, that was a different minnow. Okay. Yeah, that's somebody else. See, there's my minnow on top. That was another minnow he stole from us. Yeah. Dude. We're doing well. Got him. Nice job, babe. I saw that. Nice fish, too. Yeah, that's what I say. They're kind of following it. Easy. Good job. There it is. There it is. On her side of the boat. Caught her fish. Let's see what I got. It's just a 13, 14 inch crappie. No biggie. Babe, this was your fish coming up for you. Thanks. You're welcome. Just looking out for you. That was fighting pretty good, huh? She got there. Remember how to do it? Oh, that's a pig. Baby, that's a pig. Huge. Nice job. You're a stud. Front live well too. That's okay, babe. At least they're in the live well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? 